Hello, welcome back to a business consultant. Today we have brought you another financial model. This one is totally so Excel financial model. It is forecasted up to 60 months of uh, revenue forecasted streams and cost of goods sold and other expenses. As you can see over here, the how to use over here, it shows you that the beat cells uh, are the input cells, whereas the gray cells are the formula cells or formula results. The light gray font is the helping cells. Coming towards the input sheet, as you can see, the input sheet includes the funding assumptions, the revenue and cost assumptions. It also includes the user and marketing budget assumptions and capex and opex assumptions as you can see over here. The capital assets and the operating expenses on monthly basis and the employer roles, payrolls. It also includes the working capital assumptions. Coming towards the revenue analysis, the revenue analysis includes um, it generates the revenue of the business um, in on monthly basis and yearly basis going up to five years or 60 months as you can see over here it also in, uh, calculates the um, cost of service then comes the inventory analysis the inventory analysis uh, includes the uh, tells about the inventory of the business uh, in the next five years, this is also forecasted inventory. Uh, this includes the opening inventory, um, the number of units sold or items sold, the targeted inventory and the purchased inventory. It also includes the closing inventory. Coming towards the marketing budget, the marketing budget sheet includes all the relevant information about the uh, marketing expenses of the business in the next 60 months. Then comes the startup summary. The startup summary uh, gives the company's first year's funding, total funding, total expenses, its total assets, and total liabilities um, and equity for the first year. It also gives you the total additional funding that would be required by the business. Then comes the financial statements. The financial statements, as you can see over here, includes the income statement, which gives you the net income generated by the business in the forecasted five years or 60 months as you can see it goes up to 60 months over here and five years then comes the cash flow statement this tells you the cash inflows and outflows of the business from its operating activities financing activities and investing activities as you can see over here then comes the balance sheet. The balance sheet gives you the total assets of the business and compares it with the total liabilities and equity of the business um, uh, to let the company's uh, financial health be seen. As you can see, the balance check is also included. So um, it helps in making, um, calculating the, uh, checking the balance sheet if it's equal or not, if it's balanced or not. Then comes the financial analysis. The financial analysis, as you can see over here, includes the break-even analysis, which gives you the break-even sales of the business. Then comes the company valuation, which gives you the weighted average cost of capital of the business, which is also known as WAC, and the expected percentage equity that can be offered to the investors. Right. Then comes the company valuation, uh, sorry, sensitivity analysis. The sensitivity analysis um, gives you the actual optimistic and pessimistic calculations uh, three different scenarios um, calculations of the business uh, functioning then comes the kpis and ratios the kpis and ratios gives you the profitability ratio liquidity ratio solvency ratio and efficiency ratios of the business then comes the csc and clv analysis this gives you the customer acquisition cost and customer lifetime value and gives the ratio between the clv or csc then comes the uh, working sheet. As you can see over here, the working sheet includes all the relevant uh, calculations um, which are being used in the financial statements and financial analysis. This includes the employee payroll, operating expenses, uh, depreciation schedule. Um, it also includes the loan schedule and working capital uh, calculations. Lastly comes the dashboard. This um, shows the financial uh, all the financial information of the business in graphical context which helps in making the financial decisions much easily and accurately and um, as fast as possible um, it also helps the business in making um, 
decisions or invest uh, it helps the investors in making decisions on investing uh, on the basis of the performance of the business that's it this is the end of the video thank you for watching do like and subscribe us